This is Optimal Finance Daily, episode 903. Can you figure out what this woman earns? By Paula Pant of affordanything.com. And I'm Dan, I'm here each and every weekday reading to you from some of the best personal finance blogs on the planet. And today's post comes from Paula Pant. If you have any topic requests or if there's an author you'd like to hear from on the show, please share those ideas by coming to visit oldpodcast.com. That's oldpodcast.com. And today's episode is sponsored in part by Iconic, where you can shop name brand glasses, contacts, and sunglasses for the best possible price. Enjoy the view and visit iconic.com slash OFD. That's E-Y-E-C-O-N-I-C dot com slash O-F-D to shop 60 high-quality name brands, including Nike, Ray-Ban, Oakley, and AccuView. Get free shipping and returns, price matching, and a complimentary frame adjustment. Plus, save up to $220 when you apply your insurance. Don't have insurance? Use the code O-F-D to get 10% off your entire order. Iconic is looking out for your eyes. For now, let's get right to it as we start optimizing your life. Can you figure out what this woman earns? By Paula Pant of affordanything.com. Let's take a look at a typical American worker and figure out how much she earns. Lisa starts prepping her workday the night before when she irons and lays out her clothes, packs lunch, and cleans her car. She meets with clients throughout the day, so she must present a polished appearance. Lisa's alarm buzzes at 7 a.m. Bleary-eyed, she showers and blow-dries her hair, applies makeup, brews coffee, and dresses up. Her high heels hurt her feet, but they're essential for giving her a groomed appearance. She knows she must not only dress for success, but also drive for success, so her immaculate car is less than two years old. She washes it weekly. She drives 30 minutes to her office and is sitting at her desk by 8.30 a.m. The rest of the day is a blur of client meetings, phone calls, and showings. By the time she battles rush hour traffic back home, she's exhausted. The drive home takes 45 minutes, since afternoon rush hour is more treacherous than morning rush hour. She pulls into her driveway at 6.15, kicks off her heels, and clicks on the TV, vegging out for an hour to recover from her day. By 7.30, she's thinking about heading to the gym, but she's hungry and tired. She's too exhausted to cook, but she's been ordering takeout too much lately. She swings by the grocery store to pick up a package of frozen ravioli, which she dumps into a saucepan, heats, and eats in less than 10 minutes. She starts a load of laundry, realizing that half her clothes need to be dropped off at the dry cleaners. There's no more time today. Maybe she'll do that during her lunch break tomorrow. She's a regular at the neighborhood dry cleaners, and Lisa likes to chat about baseball with the new teenager who staffs the register. After checking her email and taking the dog for a late-night stroll around the block, Lisa launches her evening routine of laying out tomorrow's clothes and packing lunch. She's asleep by 11 p.m., ready for her alarm to buzz at 7. How much time does Lisa spend working? To learn how much Lisa makes, we first need to figure out how much time does Lisa work? The simple answer is Lisa works from 8.30 to 5.30 p.m. That's nine hours minus lunch. But I think her workday runs deeper. From the second Lisa's alarm buzzes at 7 a.m., she's doing work-related tasks, getting dressed, wearing makeup, battling rush hour. If we include prep time, the time Lisa gets ready for work, plus her commute, we can see that Lisa works from 7 a.m. to 6.30 p.m., plus an extra 30 minutes later in the evening. Lisa has a 12-hour workday. Well, that's a conservative estimate. After Lisa returns home, she's so exhausted that she needs to zone out in front of the television for an hour. I would argue that this is, indirectly, time spent working, or time that disappears as a result of working. I believe Lisa loses 13 hours a day as a result of her job. But let's stick with the conservative estimate, and we'll say Lisa has a 12-hour workday, including prep time. How much does Lisa earn? Lisa earns $50,000 a year for her efforts with a 3% 401k match and full health coverage. The 3% 401k match comes to $1,500 a year, and her health coverage would cost $250 a month or $3,000 a year if she paid for an equivalent plan out of pocket. So Lisa effectively earns $54,500 annually. This is her gross pay. We still need to subtract her cost of working. Lisa's commute is 30 miles round trip, 150 miles a week. Lisa enjoys three weeks of vacation time, which means each year she commutes 7,350 miles. The IRS estimates that each mile driven costs 55 and a half cents, but let's use the conservative estimate that each mile only costs 30 cents. 
This means Lisa spends $2,205 a year commuting. She also spends $1,000 a year on work-related clothes and another $25 per month or $300 per year dry cleaning her suits. This means Lisa's cost of working is $3,505 per year. Just wait until she needs childcare. I'm ignoring important stuff. We'll pretend Lisa never needs someone to walk her dog when she's away on business trips. We'll ignore that the reason she pays for a gym membership is because by the time she gets home, it's too cold and dark outside to jog through the park. We'll forget the fact that Lisa moved to a different city to take this job, which means she needs to fly home every Christmas. We'll disregard the cost of Lisa's look successful in front of clients weekly car wash. We'll ignore the fact that at least once a week, Lisa orders takeout or buys packaged foods. If we ignore all these work-related expenses and we subtract only the cost of commuting and clothes, we see that Lisa earns $50,995 per year before taxes. That's a super generous estimate. What's Lisa's hourly rate? Lisa loses 12 hours a day to her job, including prep time. She works 49 weeks per year with three weeks of vacation time. This means Lisa devotes 2,940 hours per year to her job. At $50,995, Lisa is trading her time at an hourly rate of $17 an hour before taxes. Whoa, this is not even close to the amount Lisa thinks she earns. Her bartender friends earn more than that. Is this what her master's degree is for? More importantly, can Lisa justify giving up her dreams, backpacking through Europe or opening a clothing boutique for $17 an hour? And what happens when Lisa has a baby? Can she justify paying $12 an hour for childcare? The bottom line, know how much you make. You might not earn as much as you think you do. Then list all the dreams, goals, and values you're sacrificing for the sake of your job. Is it worth it? If your answer is yes, I applaud you. You're in a great place in your life. But if the answer is no, it may be time to make a change. You just listened to the post titled, Can You Figure Out What This Woman Earns? by Paula Pant of affordanything.com. And today's episode was sponsored in part by Iconic, where you can shop name brand glasses, contacts, and sunglasses for the best possible price. Iconic seamlessly connects your eyewear, your vision insurance coverage, and your doctor's expertise with their network of over 38,000 eye doctors. Use their virtual try-on tool to see yourself in your favorite pair of glasses. That's what our producers, Lee and Justin, both did. Justin said the pair that he got from Iconic is now his favorite pair of glasses he's ever owned and recommends trying it out. Enjoy the view and visit iconic.com slash OFD. That's E-Y-E-C-O-N-I-C dot com slash OFD to shop 60 high quality name brands, including Nike, Ray-Ban, Oakley, and AccuView. Get free shipping and returns, price matching, and a complimentary frame adjustment. Plus, save up to $220 when you apply your insurance. Don't have insurance? Use the code OFD to get 10% off your entire order. Iconic is looking out for your eyes. And that will do it for another edition of Optimal Finance Daily. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Thanks so much for being here and being a subscriber. And I'm gonna see you back here tomorrow where your optimal life awaits.